Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Boxing for Boxing. Man, now you guys see the latest picture, man. My boy, Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown. Now, his nickname is Big Daddy, and I'm not going to call no man that. So, now you know his nickname. Lucas Brown is in shape, man. And he left a title saying, I'm not effing around, man. I'm not effing around. Posted yesterday, this guy is in shape, man. He's working out. And, you know, it's crazy because... I keep talking about it, man. I keep talking about it. These fighters, they, 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 they can't go nowhere. They're at home all day. And they're, they're, they're getting in shape, man. They're getting in shape. Nothing else to do. Nothing else to do right now. Everyone right now is getting in shape. Everyone's getting swole. And, and Lucas Brown, in his, uh, in his re regiment, right, it's actually cardio. Now, shockingly, I keep trying to tell people, sometimes if you just work out and, and just lift weights it's not the same as if you do cardio if, if lucas brown has always been a big guy and his problem is he's been a little bit too big and he hasn't been in shape now that lucas brown has been basically been locked down like everyone else this guy all he does is cardio like he should and he's getting swole man he's getting he's getting swole and i'm talking about like cut swole weird stuff weird stuff like a bruce lee type of build right this guy is working out hard man i'm really excited lucas brown i always thought he was a really good fighter you know lucas brown's a really slept on fighter i think lucas brown uh fall fell into his own height uh, people don't realize that lucas brown was undefeated when he won the title the first time it was a wba regular title and it, it was a close fight but in the end he ended up getting back up and winning wba regular title against bruce Lon Jigayev. I'm sorry if I butchered his name, but you know, the thing is, that was an incredible win for him, right? Now, since then, you know, he lost to people like David Allen and Dillian White, but the fact of the matter is, the guy just never came in shape. And plus, um, one of those fights, the guy has never had, he's been, a, he's basically a fighter with no trainer, right? When he fought Dillian White, he was training with Ricky Hatton at the time, and Ricky Hatton, all they did was party and, and probably go to strip club. We all know Ricky Hatton, man. The guy has always been a party animal, even in his prime. That's why he lost to Floyd Mayweather the, in the way he did, because the guy didn't really train. He just showed up, right? So, Lucas Brown's always been a good fighter, just didn't take the sport seriously, and he doesn't want to pay the cost to be the boss, right? He needs he needs to pay one of these elite-level trainers. And th these people talk about how there's not a lot of them in boxing. I think they're, they're, they're BSing. There's a, plenty of them. There's all in America. And they live, you know they live in the hood you know what i mean <laughs> you know i uh, think of um derrick james phenomenal trainer um i mean you got uh the crunk gym where tyson fury trained at right i mean it's just in places that maybe foreign people may not be comfortable living because it's majority black i mean the, the, best, the best trainers are black i'm just gonna say that right if you really want a great heavyweight trainer think of manuel studer you know what i mean i mean in recent history at least the best trainers have been from America and they still live in the hood, you dig? So, you know, the reason why they live in those kind of environments is because you're not gonna be in an upper class, upper edge lot place and find elite level fighters. They, you know what they say in boxing, boxing's a poor man's sport. So that being said, if you want talent, man, you're gonna have to be in a situation in an environment that's not upper class. You're gonna, you're gonna have to fight, you're gonna have to find fighters that need money right away. And you know, when you first start boxing, you're not getting paid racks on racks. You're getting paid a couple hundred a fight, you know, until you start getting those wins up. You know, so that being said, man, you know, Lucas Brown, he needs he's training good by himself, but uh, at this point, at this stage of his career, he's gonna actually need a boxer trainer, a boxing trainer, an elite level one, you know, one that we know is good. So Lucas Brown, while he's in shape, that's great. I think he needs to fight. Um, he needs, he needs to fight. He needs to have a better trainer. Um, his last fight with David Allen. Um, Dave Allen's laying like a right hand on him. And that, that was what ended basically Lucas Brown. And in my opinion, if you're an uh, elite level fighter, at least especially if you've been a champion, if you get hit with a consistently with a jab, a straight right or left hook, give up, you might as well retire. You know what I mean? You retire boxing. If you get hit those consistently, a straight right, jab, and left hook, you're basically going gonna, to gonna get turned apart all night by any decent fighter. You know, um, you shouldn't be getting hit with those punch at all, consistently at all. And Lucas Brown, you know, he got hit with the left hook by Dillian White, which stopped him. And then he got hit with a, um, a straight right with David Allen, which stopped him. You know, he's a better fighter than that. 
And I think, like I said, it's not that he's not a great fighter. It's just that he's been fighting uh, fighters with basically no trainer. Or, or he's been playing around. He hasn't taken his fitness seriously. So I think Lucas Brown's still a viable heavyweight man, a great heavyweight. He has the look for sure. He just needs to stay in shape, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Lucas Brown being in shape though. Uh, hopefully he gets out, he needs to get out, get out of Australia and train with the big boys in America and train with some elite level fighters and go to the hood. <laughs> Tell him I said come to the hood. Tell him to tell, tell, tell Lucas Brown I said come to the hood. I think Texas would be a good place for him. I, I think that I'm not sure how hot Australia is, but Texas is definitely a place where it's extremely hot, and he'll, he'll that fat and all that uh, being out of shape will melt off him extremely quick doing any kind of road work, and uh, like place like Texas, you know I think that's a really good place for him. Um, even um, I remember one time I was watching Errol Spence. And someone interviewed him um, in the gym, and he, they're sitting there talking, and they're sweating, talking. They're just sitting there talking in suits, and they're sweating. And the interviewers even talked about how hot it was in there. Yeah, that's the level of. That's just the level of. React. That, that's just the geography of Texas and where they train at. So you know, I think that that'd be a good place for my boy Lucas Brown to train. I think he needs to have something. He needs to be uncomfortable. Be, put himself in an uncomfortable situation and take a chance. I mean, at this point of his career, what does he really have to lose? You know? Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Lucas Brown in shape. <laughs> you guys, you guys seen the title. You guys seen the tweet, man. He says, I'm not effing around. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Peace. Geo Boxing Empire.